Okay, getting working on our forecast. The waters, as you saw in that uh, that package with Isaias, looking pretty churned up. The waters of Lake Michigan right now, not terribly churned up, that's for sure. And they won't be, uh, they, they, we're not talking about monstrous waves here today, folks, but uh, this is the time of year when people want to get out in the waters of Lake Michigan. Uh, I would recommend against that today for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, there's going to be some rip currents coming about here late morning, more particularly this afternoon, though, because the northerly winds will start to ramp up a bit and gust to about 20 to 25, even 30 miles per hour at times, but also the Water temperatures, those have come down with this northerly flow recently, causing upwelling, which means that the waters uh, at the near surface have been stripped away with the north winds and edging towards the center of the lake, or at least away from the shoreline. And some of the cooler waters from under, uh, from down below, have come to the surface. And look at those water temps 52. That uh, was the reading at, at last check yesterday afternoon or evening. Those actually could come down potentially in spots into the upper 40s this afternoon as these waves pick up at three to four to five feet out of the north or north northwest for a stretch today. And we'll see a little bit of sunshine mixing in with clouds, but uh, small craft advisories. And again, this is the time of year when people want to get in the water. So three to four to five feet. We've seen much higher waves than that, but enough to cause rip currents and uh, problems. So just to completely stay out of the waters here, folks, please do that for this Tuesday. We're going to see improvement, though, building in Wednesday and beyond much lighter winds and a shift in any wind flow to the southwest. So that'll start to edge up the water temperature slowly but surely as we get into the weekend. A spotty shower still possible. Yes, you'll notice as you go outdoors, the ground is damp here in GR. But as of last check, going outdoors a few moments ago, no falling rain. In fact, the clouds are broken. Kind of a partly sunny to mostly cloudy look, I think, for most locations as you do head out and about. Not much rainfall in the forecast either going right on into this coming weekend. I think uh, once we get deeper into Sunday and into Monday of next week, that's when we'll have our better shot to get maybe some downpours back in here. But until then, we're heading into a drier stretch, cooler temperatures in the short term. But building those numbers as we get into the weekend and beyond, and next work week likely to turn out much warmer and more humid. A much more summer-like pattern starts to assemble as we get uh, into the, uh, the, the approaching the middle of August, even before then. And and carrying, I think, probably for the foreseeable future. Winds are very light right now out of the north, about 5 to 8, maybe 10 miles per hour, but those will pick up later this morning and afternoon, gusting to around 30 along the lakeshore, gusting probably 20, maybe 22, 23 miles per hour here inland Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Look at these daytime highs, though. Only around 70 to 72 degrees today, mostly cloudy, two partly sunny skies and not a firm overcast. There will be a few breaks for sunshine as we go forth. Taking a look at the radar, yes, from GR to Kalamazoo, particularly eastward. That's where we're dealing with drizzle and mist and some very light showers at the current time. And uh, with a trough of low pressure overhead, denoted by this black dashed line, if you can see that extending northwestward from this surface low over Lake Erie, there can continue to be a spotty shower into this afternoon. The whole pattern kind of uh, stuck in place, not moving very quickly because uh, Isaias, tropical storm now, which is a sustained winds around 70 miles per hour, but slowly weakening. Uh, this storm came ashore yesterday evening into southern North Carolina with a uh, with an increasing trend as it did uh, come make landfall. So it did get to hurricane status there again briefly, but now back to tropical storm status and uh, they're starting to become a little bit more extra tropical or losing its tropical characteristics as we speak, though very windy and very rainy along the East Coast. Uh, yeah, the uh, the corridor from D.C. to New York City and Boston. Uh, we're talking multiple inches of rain and uh, wind gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour for those folks. Perhaps even a little bit higher. Future track model does have a spotty shower here late morning and afternoon. Folks, coverage is going to be a pretty light. I mean, most hours, most locations will be rain free today, but a hit or miss shower can come on through, so can't rule that out. And again, a fair amount of clouds still lingering. Once we get into tomorrow, yes, the model still has a green color there. I think that's overdone. Tomorrow turns out dry, Thursday dry, Friday. This is the model, the latest run of the European. And it doesn't have much right on through Saturday and Sunday. There have been prior runs that do bring in some showers here on Sunday. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Could go back to that type of a pattern. But I think the best chance, Alyssa and Nicole, is going to be overnight Sunday into next Monday. I appreciate that, Anthony. Well, the pressure and